everyone, this is Jen with NorthCoastGardening.com and I'm here today to show you my two favorite soil knives. I've got the Fiskars soil knife right here and I also have the stainless steel green top Hori Hori. So first I'll talk about the Fiskars. Um, the difference in price with these, by the way, is um, this, the Fiskars is about 10 to $12 and the stainless Hori Hori is about $30, $35. Um, in that range. So this is really, the Fiskars is the economical option. This is the Cadillac of Hori Hori's, I personally feel. Um, you're welcome to disagree. So with the Fiskars, there are a few advantages to it actually, besides the price. It does have this really nice fat handle, and it's, it's designed for a really good ergonomic grip. Like it's not curved or anything, but it's just a perfect, um, perfect fatness for your, for your grip. So you can just grab it, and it really feels very, like a very smooth and natural grip. I really like it. So, um, one of the disadvantages, of course, is that the materials are not that good. This type of metal, I just don't have any faith that it's going to last. It feels like I could bend it or break it in time. And I've had it about eight months, and it's already starting to gather a little bit of rust. So, I mean, that's with professional use, though. We use it a lot. <laughs> so, maybe if you're a home gardener and you're gardening a little bit on the weekends, maybe its longevity is not the biggest concern for you if you just clean it off. One other thing about this Fiskars soil knife that you'll um, like to know is, and it could be an advantage or a disadvantage depending on how you garden. If you have garden beds that are finished off, they're reasonably composty and fluffy, and you've got a dandelion issue, this is the soil knife for you. It's got a little dandelion fork at the tip here, and um, that makes it really great for getting out those dandelion roots. The disadvantage is that this dandelion fork tip makes it a lot harder to plunge into harder soils. So I find that this nice um, tip of the stainless steel one is so sharp, it just really goes in with little resistance. Whereas this one sort of catches on things a little bit. And so if you're weeding in hard soil or if you're trying to get dandelions out of the lawn or even other weeds out of the lawn, this can really hold you back, that, that dandelion tip here. So for me, you know, if you're doing a very specific type of weeding and dandelions the majority of your issue, great soil knife choice. Um, one other thing that you'll want to know about the soil knife is the serration is a little bit different. It's more like a postage stamp, you can see the edge, than, um, than like a steak knife. Like with this Hori Hori, you can see it's just like a serrated steak knife. And so the advantage to this is that that postage stamp edge really rips through things. So if you're you know, carving through some landscape fabric, carving through some, you know, roots, trying to plant things, that postage stamp edge is going to be super awesome for you. The disadvantage goes along with being a, a cheaper soil knife is that I've got no clue how you're going to sharpen a postage stamp edge. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. Um, I can definitely sharpen the steak knife edge that I find on most Hori Horis. So, um, so that's the rundown of why you may or may not like the Fiskars. It is more ergonomic, but you do encounter some resistance with that dandelion fork tip, so maybe not the best all-arounder, but it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good product for 10 bucks. So with Hori Horis, there's two kinds that people use often. And before we start, I want to say Hori Hori means diggy diggy in Japanese, which I think is way too cute. We totally wouldn't do that in America, but the Japanese people are awesome, and so they call it diggy diggy. So um, anyway, we've got this stainless steel version here, and this is my preferred version. The mo more common version is the carbon steel version, and you'll notice the difference with the carbon steel one is that it's got sort of a black coating. It's not shiny. And so it's got a black coating and a different kind of wood, and it's also um, quite a bit heavier. Uh, I'm not really sure how much heavier, but I can really feel the difference when I'm weeding, even in a reasonably short amount of time. Um, I, I find that my wrist and, and arms and hands get a little more tired with the carbon steel version because it is heavier. Um, another reason why I prefer the stainless over the carbon steel is the stainless has this wonderful smooth um, smoothness to the metal. Um, and it also has a smooth, it's got a glazed handle that even once the glaze wears off, it's still, the wood still stays really smooth and it doesn't like collect mud or anything like that. Whereas the carbon steel version, I find a, because the metal just offers that little more resistance or friction, it doesn't just slide into the soil really nicely. Um, and so you just encounter that little more resistance, which not a big deal if you're a home gardener, but 
if you're really doing a lot of weeding, that, those little things just really add up to um, keep you, you know, keep you gardening, keep keep your hands and wrists um, very healthy and happy. So, um, so I prefer the stainless steel version for that. And the other thing that is a problem with the carbon steel version is that the wood is also very porous. And so between the metal and the wood both being really porous, if you're weeding in really sticky clay, the, I find that the mud on the carbon steel version, the black one, really piles up particularly around this zone and also sometimes on the handle. Like I will finish weeding and then um, and then try and scrape off the mud and it just doesn't want to go. It really wants to cling to the wood. So that's an issue that I've had with the carbon steel version that I just totally don't have with the stainless version. Now, one thing you may not like about the um, Hori Horis is their handle's not ergonomic. You know, it's just sort of a regular flat handle. And for me, the sharpness of it, the fact that I can sharpen up that blade and, um, and it's so smooth so it really glides into the soil, um, that makes up for the lack of ergonomicity. That's not a word, I'm making up words now. But I think it makes up for it not having a good ergonomic handle because you really can get just a lot of work done with, with the sharpness of this tool. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of um, you know, my cheap Fiskars uh, soil knife. Um, which I enjoy quite uh, quite often, and um, the stainless steel Hori Hori, and then the carbon steel, the black Hori Hori. So I hope that's helpful to you. And uh, this has been Jen with NorthCoastGardening.com showing you Hori Horis. <laughs>